and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about a new bike coming soon by Hay Bike, and it is a flat tire folding bike called the Ranger S. So if you're familiar with Hay Bike, they do have a model now called Ranger, but this is a um, upgrade version with a little more uh, of everything on it. So uh, the bike is coming soon. The introductory price is going to be $1,499, flat tire folding bike. I want to give you a, a rundown of some of the specs that I know of on the bike. I do not as of yet have any uh, link to give you other than going to Hay Bike, but it's not there yet. So um, I'll just give you what I know. Uh, as far as uh, information on the bike, uh, specs wise anyway. So it's got a 750 watt 48 volt motor, which is uh, pretty standard on a lot of bikes right now. It's a rear geared hub motor. And It comes with a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery. The bike has hydraulic disc brakes. The tires are 20 inch by four inch flat tires. The Ranger S does come with a front suspension. Head and tail lights. It also has fenders, uh, both front and rear fenders, and does come with a rear rack, which would be handy as well. And it does come as a class two or three bike. So it, it has capability uh, of going 28 miles per hour. As I'm riding on my Blair Graffiti at the moment, I'm feeling a fine misty rain starting. I think that covers most of the features on the bike. I do not know what color options are going to be out there for the bike. Whether there's just going to be one color, several colors, I can't even give you a one color because I do not know. The one thing that about this bike that really uh, makes me shake my head is the weight of the bike. The bike weighs a whopping 93 pounds. 92.6 but i'm going to round it off and say 93 pounds gosh that's heavy for a uh, for a folding bike because let's face it chances are you're buying a folding bike because you want to fold it and generally when you fold a bike at some point you're going to have to lift that bike and uh Gosh, I think uh, 
93 pounds is really, to me, on the heavy side. Now, I know the battery is going to weigh something, uh, but other folding bikes are more in the uh, 60 pound maybe range, something like that. Gee, 93 pounds, that's an awful lot of weight for somebody to lift. You know, there's a lot of folks out there that would, let's face it, most of us would probably have trouble lifting 93 pounds, you know. That's a lot of weight, and you may not always have somebody else there uh, to help you lifting the bike. So, if I had to give a con right there, that would be the biggest con I see. I mean, the price, $14.99, I think the price is right there with a lot of them. Once the price goes past introductory price, though, then I'd start to wonder, you know, like, okay, how high are we going? Are we going 16 99 you know or what um, but at 14.99 I think it's worth it but I just don't know if I'd want to um, lift a 93 pound folding bike that's if I was just leaving it all the time um, uh, you know uh, open and not folded then yeah that'd be okay but She's a 95 or 93 point or 93 pound bike pulling bike. That's an awful lot of weight. I should mention on the uh, the uh, battery uh, distance. So they do say that the bike is capable of going 55 miles on a charge. Now that would be in pedal assist, and I'm sure it's pedal assist one with the least amount of uh, motor power. And uh, so that's the Ranger S coming soon. I'm recording this video, video just a little bit before it's actually going to come out on pre-sale. And And like I say, the, that's the uh, $14.99 is the introductory price. Now, I don't know how high the price is going to go, but I think, like I say, $14.99 is probably right in there with... It, it may be a little bit on the high end. Um, but uh, it's there. It's kind of... It's, I think it's right there like that's probably I wouldn't want to pay any more and personally myself I wouldn't choose that uh, for two reasons one I think I could find a better bike um, or try to find a better one uh, for that price I would do my homework let's say that um, and the weight the, the weight would be the big problem um, that I wouldn't like for a folding bike, I'd want that to be more in the 60 pound range, probably. And probably not much more than that. But I think otherwise, I think that that price is probably fair. I mean, you can look around for other folding bikes. I guess you could get something like the electric. But if you get the electric, it's probably going to have the smaller battery. And if you buy the uh, the better electric bike, the newer one, the X, uh, what's it? I, I forget what they all are now. There's so many out there, but the a little bit more powerful one. But it's more money too, so it's going to be right in that fifteen hundred dollar range as well. So. Good morning. Good, how are you doing? So that's the hay bike fat tire folding coming soon. 
the Ranger S. So check that out. Keep your eye open if you're looking for a folding bike. It may appeal to you. I just wanted to let everyone know about that bike. If you're uh, looking for a folding bike, there's so many reasons to have a folding bike. If you're a big camper, this is a good time to be. If you're big into camping, get it. Get a uh, folding bike so you can take it with you, and it's not going to take up a lot of space. You can put it in your trunk. Well, that's going to do it for this video. So, thank you for joining me on the video. If you want to comment on this video or any other ones, leave a comment in the comment section. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. Just hit that subscribe button. And once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.